please subscribe. The thing about running a statewide race is you either have to have a whole lot of money, as in independently wealthy, or you have to have a message that can resonate with voters, but even still you have to have money. This past election was a prime example in the Public Service Commission. The message was there. It was loud and clear. But unfortunately, the powers that be do not want Brent Woodall or Robert McCullum in there because it was going to shake up the political storm. And that was just something they were not going to happen. Matrix, Alabama Power, Yellowhammer News, um, they were not going to let that happen. Uh, the olden times, uh, Alabama Power would be like the Pilot Bureau and the Matrix would be like the Central Committee and Yellowhammer News would be like the state-run news. That's essentially what they are. They've written so many hit pieces against so many people that it was just unbelievable the fake news they put out. Um, this election hurt me very much because I put everything I believe into it. Um, I just, I, I guess we just didn't get enough message to the, to the enough to enough people. You know, they believed in the, um, or maybe they they out they just spent so much that they could overcome us. I mean, what they're doing is, folks, they're taking a hidden tax. They are. And we've probably went over this before, but I'll tell you one more time. They are charging the utility companies for the pleasure of regulating them, who then turn that back on to the consumer. They then take that money that is left over at the end of the year, and they say they gave it back to the general fund. Well, you can't give back something you didn't get. So the money should have went back to Alabama Power to give back to the consumer. But now that's going up into TVA, who's not even regulated by the... Tennessee ballot, who's not even regulated by the PSC, and it's benefiting people that you, that people that will never benefit from it, but go up there and look at the returns and see how well they did. Um, the thing about this is uh, Chip Beaker did not deserve to even be in this campaign. He did not campaign. He did not meet the voters. He did not do anything. Robert McCollum, on the other hand, and Brent Woodall, they was out there fighting every day. I will give Tote Noten credit. At least he did fight for his job. This den of thieves will continue to steal from you as long as we allow them. The next opportunity we have is to get Twinkle Andrews Cavanaugh out there. And that starts tomorrow. Or that started the day after the race. We will win this. We will not back down. We will not succumb. We will unify as a party that will take back our state. We will unify as a group together that say we are tired of this. We are like the pat, pit, the farmers of old with the pitchforks and the lanterns, and we are storming the castle. Just because we lost this battle does not mean we lost the war. We will dust ourselves off. We will pick ourselves up. We will come back again. And to paraphrase... Uh, one of the great speeches ever. Don't wait for orders from headquarters. Mount up, folks, and ride to the sound of the guns. We need everybody out there. Grassroots, tell your friends. Write a letter. Write a postcard. Let everybody know what is going on in Montgomery. And maybe, just maybe, we can put a stop to that.